guys, Marco here. Welcome back to another guitar lesson. Today we're gonna learn a very simple finger picking pattern with a beautiful chord progression. Now the goal in this lesson is to combine three different musical elements. A very simple finger picking pattern, a beautiful chord progression in E major, and a quite interesting rhythmic pattern. Now when we combine three different musical elements like fingerstyle, chords and rhythm, we can decide to keep the finger picking pattern very simple, but we have to challenge the chords and the rhythm. The reasons for that is because if we keep the finger picking pattern and the chords and the rhythm all at the same level, meaning just like a basic simple level, all we have is just a basic and simple chord progression, which is by the way fine. But if you want to kind of come up with something more interesting, we have to challenge one of the three elements. So we're going to keep the finger style really simple, but we're going to develop a lot on chords and rhythm. Now you can get the tab for everything that I play, check my Patreon page and subscribe to this channel if you want to keep up with all the upcoming lessons. Now let's have a close up and let's get started. All right guys, we are going to start by learning the rhythm. We're going to do this on one note, the G string fret number nine, which is the note E. We're going to play it like this, three and four and one and two and three and four, one and two and three and. So I have five notes over four beats. So the first count takes two notes, one and, so I'm playing on the count and then after the first off beat, one and. Now the second count takes just one note right on the second off beat. So I will have one and, two and. So right when I say and, I will play the third note. The fourth note is played on the third beat and is kind of the most tricky one because it's played on the uh, second 16th note of the third beat. So one and two and three and four. The last one is played on the fourth count. Okay, so it's first and fourth count is the easiest one. So it's one, one, and two, and three, and four. Now when you look this, you have three, and four, and four. One, and two, and three, and. Now when you play the second time, on the fourth count, we're gonna play this beautiful phrase. Um, the B string for number 10, the G string fret number uh, 13, E string open and B string open. And I'm picking with middle index ring middle. And this is the main rhythm we're gonna play throughout. So let me play one more time. Three and four and. Now guys, once you're good with the rhythm, we can then add the finger picking pattern and the chords. Now with the finger style pattern, we are going to fill in the gaps between the notes. And with the chords, we're going to add more notes. It sounds like this. So the melody follows the same 
rhythm that we just learned. And one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. So we're gonna play on the G string for number nine, eleven, eight, nine, four. Nine, eleven, eight, nine, and then the beautiful phrase. So the structure is the same. Now the bass note for this chord is E, the low E string, because we are playing an E major chord. Now rather than just play the melody, we're also gonna play the finger picking pattern. So for each note of the melody, we're gonna add the B string and the E string with middle and ring. We're only gonna pause on the G string fret number four. Again. So the second time I'm playing the melody, nine, 11, eight, nine, I complete the pattern with index, middle, and ring, and then I play the phrase. Now we do this for the E major chord, so the bass note is the low E string. Then we do the same thing again with the A string. So we're changing between the E major to the A major. Beautiful transition. Um, the you know the melody is the same, the rhythm is the same. Just change the bass note. Now things get a little bit more difficult when we have to play the C sharp minor. Because we have to play the phrase, uh, but the bass note is on the low E string for number nine. So I'm playing uh, the bass note with the middle finger and then I'll play the melody with the third finger here. I stretch um, with the little finger, then for number eight, for number nine. And the last note that I'm playing is with the index finger on the G string. Now B major. Beautiful chord. Um, it gets a little stretchy here. Same melody. The bass note is on the low E string fret number 7. And I'm playing on the G string fret number 9, 11, 8, 9, and 9 again with the index. So. Last chord, the A major. Beautiful and super simple. The A string open and the G string fret number nine. Then the fret number eight and the fret number four. I'm always uh, playing the uh, arpeggio on the first and second note. And then I pause on the fret number four. Then I play the G string fret number eight. And I start again. So I have it twice. So and we'll go again. with that. Now guys for the B section we are playing uh, different chords. We are playing a C major 7, a D major, and an E major chord. So we're kind of you know borrowing chords from a different key, from the E minor key, beautiful C major 7, on the low E string fret number 8 and the G string fret number 9, then the B and the E string open. Now I have this uh, picking pattern which is thumb and index on uh, low E string and the uh, G string, then the B string and the E string. And I have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So rhythmically it's like three, three, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. 
And then I'll do the same on the D. And the same thing on the E major. Now the D major is the same as the C, just two frets up, so I have 10, 11. And the E major with low E string open and the G string fret number 13. Now I'll repeat this twice, the E major lasts longer. Now the second time I'm playing again the C major 7, the D, and this beautiful A major chord. So I'm playing the A string open and the G string fret number 9, same finger picking pattern two rounds. So the whole thing. Again. Slow down and you have it. Simple finger picking pattern with beautiful chords and melody and a kind of an interesting rhythmic pattern. That's all you need for a cool chord progression. So thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time.